Hello, I'm Richard Campbell. I'm the Technical Director with Hydrosense and today I'm going to give you an instructional video on how to use the single syringe Legionella field test. The single syringe test is our most flexible format of tests and is able to sample a wide range of water samples including taps, fountains, pools, spas, misters, humidifiers and others. The test has a sensitivity of 100 CFU per litre so it's one of our most sensitive versions of the test. Prior to performing the test, I would recommend that you read the instructions fully, which outline all the steps you need to do to conduct the test and also include some of the limitations of use. Your first step is to take a water sample. Um, I've already collected mine here, but you can collect yours uh, direct from your, from your water source. The beaker is graduated with markings up the side and we collect up to the 250 milliliter mark, which is towards the top of the beaker. Once we've collected this water sample, what we need to do then is draw up the sample into this 60 ml syringe, and then we will pass that liquid through this hollow fiber filter. Prior to using the filter, we just tighten the end cap to make sure that's securely on the filter. So we take up the first syringe full, I draw it up to the 50 mil mark and then we attach it to the syringe and then we squeeze the liquid through. Now it should pass through quite easily but you may find that with turbid solutions it might take a little bit more pressure to pass the liquid through the filter. In order to get the last of the liquid, we can tip the beaker to the side, just so we can withdraw all the water. So now that we've concentrated any Legionella bacteria that were present in the sample into the filter, we need to extract them from the filter. So the pressure from the syringe has been pushing the bacteria up to the top end of this filter here. So in order to increase the sensitivity of the test, we recommend that you remove the cap from the top of the filter and screw it onto the bottom. Then we can use the syringe containing 0.25 mils of recovery buffer in order to extract the bacteria from the filter. So we remove the red cap and then keeping the filter in an upright position, attach the one mil syringe to the top of the filter. And at this point, we then invert the filter and keep it vertical again with the syringe on the bottom and the filter on the top. Now, what we're gonna do here is extract the concentrated sample from the filter into the, the buffer. So the first step is to pull the syringe back to the 0.5 mil mark on the 1 mil syringe, which is halfway down. And then we can push the liquid into the filter. You might see a few drops coming out of this port on the filter. That's perfectly normal. And then we pull back to the 0.5 again and then push in and we repeat this three times. And what we're doing is concentrating the bacteria and getting them off the filter. 
After performing that three times, we then draw the syringe back to the 0.5 mil mark, which is halfway down the syringe. What we're looking to do then is collect 0.1 mils of sample. So we push the syringe plunger in slowly till we get to the 0.1 mil mark. In my first attempt here, I've created a air bubble. So if that does happen to you, what you can do is just try again by pulling the syringe back and pushing it in. And maintaining the syringe in an upright position helps reduce the likelihood of a, a bubble forming within your 0.1 mil. So I'll try again now, pull it back to the 0.1, no air bubbles, and that's the sample correctly collected. So next we can take the test strip out of its foil packaging. It's important to only do this when you're ready to add the sample. The test strip is sensitive to moisture and therefore should only be removed prior to use. So we can open the foil, place this cassette on a flat surface. There's also a small dropper within the uh, foil, but we don't need that for this version of the test kit. So now we can detach the syringe in a twisting motion from the filter, place the filter to one side, and then we can add the 0.1 mils of sample to the sample port on the cassette by depressing the plunger. And at this point, we would start a timer for 25 minutes and then read the test after 25 minutes and no longer than 30 minutes. After 25 minutes of running time, the test can be read. The test is composed of two lines, a test line and a control line. If both lines are present, then Legionella pneumophilus serogroup 1 has been detected above the cutoff of the test kit. The positive signal at the test line may well be weak, but any line at this position indicates a positive. If no test line is present at the test line position, but there is a control line, then the test is negative and Legionella pneumophilus serogroup 1 has not been detected. If no control line is present, then the test is invalid and it should be repeated. To use the app, launch the app, select a pre-programmed location and click read test. Scan the barcode and then read the test by matching up the image on the screen with the cassette. The positive result indicates that Legionella pneumophilus serogroup 1 has been detected in the sample. Results can be shared via email or SMS, or results are also automatically uploaded to the HydroSense Pro portal at hydrosensepro.com.